Thank you so much for watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. We are delighted to get some time with you. And I want to give you this encouraging testimony from Marion. Marion wrote in and said to us, thank you so much for helping me to understand how to pray and receive forgiveness and peace. You might be watching right now and you're struggling with forgiveness. Maybe you're struggling with worry and anxiety and fear. And we want to pray for you. So hop on the phone, get on the website, like Marion, and we got to pray with her. And we want to pray with you as well for God to help you to overcome any kind of anxiety, fear, worry, depression. Also helping you to overcome unforgiveness, how to forgive. So we like to pray for you. And partners, thank you so much. Thank you for helping us to cover the earth with the word. Couldn't do what we do without you. And we love to pray for you. And we love to honor and thank you, celebrate you. Because we're a nice partner group together here, teamwork. And we do amazing things better together than if we try to do things on our own. So thank you again and again. And Mom, we have a really cool guest well, we today. We do. Our guest today is Hakeem Collins. I want to say his name right. Right. Because 10 Prayer Secrets. I think everyone out there needs to hear this and to get the book. Because all of us want to have answers to prayer. Don't we? I do. I don't want to just pray prayers and just say words. So I want prayer secrets. I believe this guest and what he brings to you and his book could transform your life. This is a very important thing for you and for me. And, you know, this is something we will pass on. It's wonderful. So I will encourage all of our viewers to stay tuned, put your remote control down, and we know that God is going to help you to have prayer secrets in your life. Together, we are impacting thousands of lives with the truth, compassion, and power of God's Word. But there is still much more to be done. By becoming a partner with Marilyn Hickey Ministries, you'll share in bringing God's miracles and healing to the sick, experiencing a deep love for the Bible, and taking the gospel to the nations. When you become a $30 a month partner with Marilyn and Sarah, we'll send you our welcome gift package, which includes the Jehovah Rapha oil vial with oil prayed over by Marilyn and Sarah, our exclusive partner CD set, which includes six CDs featuring 12 never before released teachings, the Majesty coffee table book featuring beautiful representations of the names of God and more. If you have a passion to reach the lost and are ready to release the anointing of God into your life, then join us today by becoming a partner. Call or click today and help Marilyn and Sarah cover the earth with the word. Hey, hey, thank you so much for joining today with Marilyn and Sarah. I am stoked to introduce to you one of my new favorite friends, Hakeem Collins. Yay! Yes, Hakeem, so stoked that you're here. And not everybody in our audience has familiarity with you. So could you just give us a short biography, like a thumbnail, and then we'll jump into, oh my goodness, this amazing book, 10 Prayer Secrets. So a little bit, little bit of background. Yeah, well, I'm from Wilmington, Delaware, outside of the Philadelphia area. I was um, raised in the church basically as a Baptist. And from there, God just do started doing some supernatural things in my life where I was seeing angels behind my buying plaster. I was hearing the audible voice of God, seeing angels even in my prayer life and my prayer time. And, and so from there, it just just activated the seek of more of Jesus. And from there, um, God just started doing some things in my personal life, but also a time where I wanted him more. I ended up in jail because of something I did, was not really proud of. And from there, God gave me an ultimatum to give my life to him, follow the call that was on my life. Basically, he's basically said, I didn't call you to a, um, to a prison ministry, I call you to a prophetic ministry. And from that time, I said yes. And 10 minutes later, I was released from jail. And that was really basically the rest was history. Oof. So, but that's like when you're 19. And then, you know, when you went on into college, right? Yes. <clears throat> but college was a little bit of a, like, dual profession, so yes. to speak. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. Well, yeah, once I accepted Jesus and I said yes, and I wanted to embrace the prophetic call on my life, then I went right into college. And from there, I had challenges as well. But then there were people that would see me walking out of restaurants, McDonald's, and say, hey, young man, there's something on your life. I see uh, a call on your life. You know, do you preach? Do you do, you know, anything? And I said, well, I am, you know, 
attend a church, but no, I do not preach, but I do love Jesus. And they said, well, hey, come over to my church, you know, and speak to the young people. And so I said, yes. And when I go there, it will be people in wheelchairs and crutches and people that have physical ailments. And, and God just started activating also a healing gift that's on the inside of me that I didn't know I had. And so from there, God just started working miracles through the Holy Spirit through me. And um, I just started seeing the, just the manifestation of God's power. Mm -hmm. You might be watching right now and you need healing in your body in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you for healing. We know, we know, number one, God answers prayer. Number two, we know that Jesus heals today. I mean, seriously, Absolutely. really full on. And, you know, you wrote this book, 10 Prayer Secrets, um, really powerful. Um, but this is a different prayer book than normal. Mm -hmm. How come you wanted to make it different? I wanted it to be different because it's something you can actually carry around with you. And you can actually reference, you know, biblical characters like Abraham, who was a friend of God. You know, Elijah, who saw the heavens open up and glory come and the presence um, be manifested. Even um, Anna and Simeon, you know, where they waited on God yeah. to see the, the coming Messiah and their perseverance and prayer and patience caused them to see what they've been waiting on for a long time manifest. Like mm -hmm. most of us who is waiting on God and waiting for a miracle or waiting for a prayer to be answered. And so I wanted something more practical, but also in the book, it talks about even reflection questions. I, I, I ask questions, reflecting yeah. questions, a yeah. devotional, and just prayer points. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I like that you made this super practical. Yes. Like you didn't make it some kind of a thing. And your language, the way you write, is very, very, um, you, can, it's, you can grab onto yes. it. It's not like a lot of theological whatever. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be very simple mm -hmm. and also for any person, even a child can actually mm -hmm. read it mm -hmm. and it can take, you know, the principles and apply mm -hmm. for them live, mm -hmm. for themselves. I just encourage you, hop on the phone, get on the website, grab your copy of 10 Prayer Secrets. Really, really helpful and helpful for you in your prayer life. Some of you have been praying forever and a day. Some of you, eh, not so much. So no matter where you're at in that spectrum, uh, grab your copy. This will be a huge, huge benefit and blessing in your life um, for your prayer life. Hakeem, what would you say if somebody's prayer life seems to be kind of stale? I would say don't stop praying. And I, that's just my thing. Why is because oftentimes when we don't see prayers answered, then we feel that God haven't heard us. And we got to know that God always hears us, especially those who are believers, those who are his children. And so when you're stuck in prayer or you feel like you haven't seen a breakthrough, that doesn't mean to stop mm -hmm. or you get stuck or stay there, but it means to continue to persevere and to overcome that. And that's where the enemy wants us to kind of stay there and say, well, did God really say that? Or is God really hearing your prayer? We have to go into prayer believing that the Father hears us and not only that, but he will respond. And so that's where I would say for those who are watching, don't stop praying. This is a season where your prayers is gonna to begin to release the miracles that you've been waiting for. Even when even Elijah who put his head between his knees and he sent his servant up seven times and to look and the first time he didn't see anything, the second time, the third time, you may be that one that said, hey, this might've been the sixth time I prayed and it haven't, I haven't seen the manifestation of what I've been praying for, but what I've been waiting on God to do for me. But don't stop praying because at that seventh time, the servant saw what Elijah heard. And I come to declare to you that there's a sound of abundance, that heaven is about to open up over your life and what you've been waiting on is about to surprise you. What you've been looking for is looking for you in this season. I believe that God is about to answer your prayer like never before. Mm, so, so, so good. Please hop on the phone, get on the website, grab your copy of 10 Prayer Secrets. I love, and I love what you say because it just, it's like taking faith and breathing, yes. you know, and, and really putting some energy in life and like vitality, mm. woo, mm -hmm. and hope. Come on. Because sometimes when we pray, we feel like, ugh, yeah. you know, it's not just stale. What would you say to somebody who is intimidated by prayer, right? It feels like it's kind of inaccessible, like, how do I do this? Yeah, well, you know, God is not, Sarah, he's not playing hide and seek with us. We are his children and we can go boldly before his throne and, and ask and petition and come with supplication. He wants to hear from us. And when you look at prayer, it's communication, just like me and you. Don't, it's not something, it's not rehearsed. Mm -hmm. It is something that you have an intimate relationship and a dialogue. And from there, God wants to hear from us and he wants to answer us. And so I believe that you don't come in fear or disbelief. 
or be intimidated. He is your father, you know, and, he, and, and Jesus is a prime example. He, he said, I only speak what I hear him say and I only do what I see him, you know, doing. And that's that same correlation and that alignment that we can have as believers and as children of God is to have that type of dynamic relationship where we don't have to be intimidated. We can go boldly before him because the Bible said it is truth and we can see things manifest in prayer because we communicate. Mm -hmm. It's just, we ask, we can receive. Mm -hmm. What would you also say in terms of like, sometimes people get, think they have to have super religious terminology, you know, and a couple of these and those and the whatever. How do you, how do you talk to a person um, who struggles with the religious terminology and maybe that feels in, inaccessible for prayer? Does that yeah. make sense what wow. I'm saying? No, that's a great um, question because that's why I wrote the book because I didn't want it to be like religious um, jargon or rep rep repetitious words. You know, I think sometimes we think that if we can just say these big words or sound intellectual or come with this big expression, just come as you are. And just come, you know, like me and you are speaking. That's how I speak to the Father. I come to him and say, Father, I was upset about this or I was angry about this. Or give me a solution or give me a better way of handling this situation. I don't come with any repetitions where even Jesus talks about that, you know. And so we have to be very careful and just be very, just be yourself. Be authentically you. Mm -hmm. Authentically you. And sometimes that's tricky for us because we mm -hmm. don't even like ourselves. Yeah. That's true. And I think God wants to remove some of those layers, you know, where it's, you know, false identities or the pressure. I think sometimes, Sarah, it can be the pressure, even when we're in open meetings and prayer meetings where we have to sound yeah. big or great or have these, these yeah. strong words. But it's just from the heart. It's, it's really your heart posture, what God is looking for. Mm -hmm. And so if we know who we are and our identity, which is hidden Christ, then we can come before him and he can, just as we are, and he'll answer our prayers. Mm -hmm. And I like the ways God answers because mm -hmm. sometimes it's timing issues. Sometimes it's methods. God answers mm -hmm. prayer in ways that we didn't anticipate. And, you know, and sometimes I think we try to tell God how to answer the prayer mm -hmm. and instead of saying, let God be God, yeah. God answers in ways that we don't always anticipate. So I want to encourage you, hop on the phone, get on your website, grab your copy. Actually, you need to get several copies of 10 prayer secrets. And the reason I say several copies is because I venture to say you probably have a couple friends. Maybe you've been in a Bible study or a book club, or maybe you have a prayer partner, or you'd like to have a prayer partner. This would be a fantastic resource for any of those like small group situations or a prayer partner that you'd like to uh, hang out with and pray. So hop on the phone, get on your website, grab 10 prayer secrets. And additionally, I just encourage you, whatever the needs are in your life, we want to pray for you. And we like to pray for you because we know that God answers prayer. And we also know that God has breakthrough for you on specific prayer needs. So let us pray with you. Prayer changes everything. Yet so much gets in the way of communicating with our powerful and loving creator. Distraction, hardship, doubt, anger, busyness, unforgiveness, and more. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you 10 Prayer Secrets by Hakeem Collins. In prayer where God wants to reveal his self to you, but also there's things in us that we don't know we have. In this powerful book, you'll see how prayers unlock a plan of action and help you pray powerfully, passionately, and effectively. We will also send you Sarah's Praying with Holy Spirit DVD teaching, Marilyn and Sarah's Discover Your Destiny CD, and our prayer scripture card. For your gift of $65 or more, we will include our Jewish prayer shawl. Made in Israel, this beautiful prayer shawl is a supernatural mantle you can wear while in study or prayer. Call or click today for this powerful offer. Sarah Bowling, Living Genuine Love, is on a mission to connect every one with the heart of God. With a passion for the Bible and the gift of teaching, Sarah brings a new perspective to articulate God's life-giving revelation to our modern moment. God's heart relentlessly reaches all our hidden places and changes us from the inside out. And Living Genuine Love is equipping people with resources and tools that empower them to walk in this intimate relationship with God. Sarah is a powerful scholar and spirit-led teacher with a gift and passion that takes her many places around the world to bring lasting change to each of us who are craving the transformative love of God. At Living Genuine Love, we're committed to seeing you walk in a vibrant relationship with God every day. Learn more about Sarah Bowling and her ministry, Living Genuine Love, by visiting sarahbowling.org.
or call us at 800-627-1995. Oh my goodness, I'm stoked that you're continuing to join us on this cool interview. And Hakeem, one of the things you said in the last little segment, you talked about uh, praying and praying, Father, um, help me with this. Or you know, And my question to you, and we had talked off offset a little yes. bit, that you grew up in a single mom family. Mm -hmm. So when you refer to God as a father, how does that, how did that play out for you when you didn't necessarily grow up with a dad? Yeah, I just looked at it as... Jesus' relationship with the Heavenly Father. I kind of looked at that as a model, you know, because me not having my father in my life and just going through some level of abandonment, rejection, and I wanted to kind of see in the scriptures what that looked like. You know, even though we know Jesus is all God and all man, sure. but he was that model and he was that connection, that bridge, which is prayer. Prayer communicates and brings us closer to God. And so I needed to see that outline in scriptures. And so I needed to see not only the model, but can I be like Jesus and have that same relationship? And I've seen that through my time in prayer. And not only that, but Sarah, he was not just a father, even though I had a mother yeah. physically in my life, but I also needed to see another side of God, mm -hmm. the father. Mm -hmm. But can he nurture? Right. Can he protect like Can a mother? Can he be maternal too? Maternal. And not just paternal. Paternal. Absolutely, yes. And so I saw that side of him. That I'm like, it's, it's not just one-sided. Right. Even though I didn't have a natural father in my life. And he healed me from a, a lot of brokenness and rejection and a lot of, um, you know, times where I needed, you know, it, at games when I needed my father to be somewhere cheering me on. Yeah. He wasn't there. But... I can hear the voice of the Father, Heavenly Father, saying, good job, I'm proud of you. Yeah. You know, and also sometimes, even through leadership and pastors yeah. who have became father figures, sure. you know, and through them, I can hear the voice of the Father speaking through them. Mm -hmm. So it was just Jesus was that model. Mm -hmm. Jesus was that model mm -hmm. for me. And I encourage you, if you're watching right now and you've struggled, you've had a break with, you know, an earthly parent, a mother or a father, maybe they didn't parent you well, um, we'd love to pray for you that God would heal that wound and step into that place and, and overflow it with nurture, with care, with presence, with power. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. If you struggled in that relationship with a parent, a father, a mother, we know that God can absolutely help and heal in that space. And when you do, grab your copy of 10 Prayer Secrets. Now, I want to put this into your head as well. I really want you to get several copies because for your family, hello, your kids, your grandkids, or your parents even, you can give them this and think about it. It's a possibility that you could even pray together potentially as a family. And there's great, great encouraging things in here and very, very practical stuff, mm -hmm. application points and, and questions and dialogue and just really helpful resources for you with 10 Prayer Secrets. So grab a copy for you as well as your family and, and, and you can really pray together as a family. Then I want to ask you this question too, because in here you have a lot about the Bible mm -hmm. and the Bible being a kind of a leverage point for transformation mm -hmm. with prayer. Yeah. What, how do you see that play out for you? Well, because God knows our heart and he knows our needs before we even pray for him. And even some things that we are not even honest with him about, he still knows. And he, and like a father, he yeah. wants to address those areas. And so when we become, when we come to him and confess our sins and we come to him and we say, I have a problem or I have an issue or, you know, like I said earlier, it be authentically you when you have an issue. And I'm, I'm like, Lord, I have a bad day. I was upset or this upset me. He could give you solutions. He can give you um, the know-how to overcome some things personally. Because with me, sometimes it's not about what others are doing. Sometimes God wants to highlight what I'm doing. So personal transformation starts when you're honest with yourself. And like even the scriptures talks about when the, one of the disciples came to Jesus and asked him, teach us how to pray. And I feel like prayer is key because it's not that Jesus was talking about deliverance and casting out demons and yeah. healing and all those things that comes with the supernatural and comes with being a believer. Yeah. However, the first thing Jesus was talking about is our father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. 
the kingdom, the Holy Spirit brings us into that place of knowing that we are king priests, knowing that we, have, we are co-heirs with Jesus Christ, and then that Holy Spirit working on the inside of us brings transformation. But we have to be honest with ourselves and know who we are when we pray. Mm -hmm. And I just encourage you, <clears throat> maybe you're listening today and you're like, I don't really know who I am. And you hear this idea that you're a God's son, you're a God's daughter. Maybe that feels very, very foreign to you or, or uncomfortable or like that's not even possible. We want to pray for you that you would know that you belong in the family. That you belong, you're a son, you're mm -hmm. a daughter, and you're fearfully, wonderfully made and fully embraced and thoroughly loved. I want to encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website. Holy Spirit wants to work a deep work in your heart mm -hmm. in this. And I just encourage you, in Romans 8, 16, it says, Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are God's son, you are God's daughter. That means Holy Spirit convinces you on the inside that you belong. You're not an orphan. You're not an outcast. You're not rejected. In fact, you're fully embraced and welcome. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. And when you do, grab your copy of 10 Prayer Secrets. Seriously, this is an amazing book. And one of the things I like about it, Hakeem, is it's so deep and rich, but so super concise. Mm -hmm. So you can read it and then you're like, woo. I need a little think about that a little bit. Yes. I got to ruminate on that because mm -hmm. that's deep more than just like that super like casual, you know, frothy stuff. Yes. So what, when, when you talk in secret number seven, it says be a friend of God. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say? How, what are some keys to being God's friend? Like Abraham. <clears throat> I mean, I look at Abraham. Why was God so interested in Abraham? I, th I think sometimes we, we are interested in God, but he is just equally interested in us and even with friends or having new friends is to be to be friend someone mm -hmm. it's a different between to be friend someone and to be a friend and I believe that Abraham's faith was what caused God to say you know what he is my friend and not only that but his obedience his ability to obey you know it's not that we you know as friends we we usually friends have some commonality. Like yep. they, there's something similar about them that mm. th there's the same interest. And so it was Abraham's faith, but obedience that caused him to be God's friend where God said, he's my friend. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we as believers can have that type of same relationship where we can go from being just children of God and sons and daughters of God, but also we can become his friends by faith and then do obedience. And we, even with Obimelech, when Obimelech wanted to do something with, with Abraham's wife, Sarah, listen, God intervened in the dream and said, do not touch you know, her. That's not his sister, that's his wife. And so God takes his friends very seriously. And I'm telling you, prayer will connect you and draw you to God like never before. And so I believe there's another level of your relationship that God desires. There's another, he wants to get, bring your level of relationship and prayer life to another level where friends reveal secrets, you know, and even us, we, we, we just met, but we become friends because why? There's a kindred spirit. Yeah. There's, a, there's a, a, a common and a mutual interest. Mm -hmm. And I believe that even with friendships, we can be truthful to each other mm -hmm. and we can share and all of that. So I believe that this book will really help people to get to that next place of being friends of God. Mm -hmm. And I love in this book too, because I think it provokes the reader to, to push more. Mm -hmm to go deeper, to go higher, mm -hmm. to press through stronger and persistence and all that. So I just encourage you, hop on the phone, get on the website. This will be a massive resource, blessing to you. And of course, grab a boatload of copies for your family, for your Bible study group, for your Sunday school group, for your book club, pass it out. And here's the other thing that's really cool on this. It's really nice. It looks like a nice little gift. Mm -hmm. So you can use it for holidays. You can use it for birthdays, celebrations, and really, or graduation announcement, all this stuff, really powerful. And what I like about it is, it's not just cool on the outside and looks pretty and all that. Actually, the contents on the inside <laughs> are even better <laughs> than how it looks on the outside. And I say that because sometimes you get books that are gift books and then you open them up, you're like, oof, that's kind of frothy and there's nothing really pertinent on the inside. But this on the inside is even more powerful than beautiful than what you see on the outside with being beautiful. So hop on the phone, get on the, get on the website, grab lots of copies of this resource. And remember this as well. We want to pray for you. We know that God answers prayer. Mm -hmm. And you don't have a need in your life 
that God cannot participate in. It can be something in your mind. It might be too big. <laughs> is anything too big for God? Mm -hmm. It might be too small, but nothing with God is too big or too small because God is infinite. So we know that God answers prayer, and we want to pray with you for the needs in your life. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. Prayer changes everything, yet so much gets in the way of communicating with our powerful and loving Creator. Distraction, hardship, doubt, anger, busyness, unforgiveness, and more. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you 10 Prayer Secrets by Hakeem Collins. In prayer where God wants to reveal His self to you, but also there's things in us that we don't know we have. In this powerful book, you'll see how prayers unlock a plan of action and help you pray powerfully, passionately, and effectively. We will also send you Sarah's Praying with Holy Spirit DVD teaching, Marilyn and Sarah's Discover Your Destiny CD, and our prayer scripture card. For your gift of $65 or more, we will include our Jewish prayer shawl. Made in Israel, this beautiful prayer shawl is a supernatural mantle you can wear while in study or prayer. Call or click today for this powerful offer. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited. I'm asking Hakeem to pray for the needs in your life. So I know you're watching, you think, well, you know, healing and finances. Hakeem, would you pray for our audience? Father, I thank you right now for those who are watching. Lord, I pray that like Elijah who put his head between his knees to pray for breakthrough to come. Lord, those who have been praying and they didn't see a breakthrough or they didn't see something manifest at the timing that they want. Lord, I decree and declare that this will be a season that their prayers will look for them. And even as they prayed the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time and nothing happened, Lord, I just decree and declare that as they are activated in faith to look again, I hear God say, look again in this season. As you look again, you will see my glory come. You will see my provision come. You will see the breakthrough that you've been waiting for come. Things are about to happen because of prayer. So Father, Father, I thank you and I come in agreement. I touch in agreement that healing, breakthrough, miracles will be their portion in this season. And Lord, let them be like Abraham, a son of God. Oh my goodness, love it. In Jesus' name, I agree. 100% agreement. And I just encourage you, God has breakthrough. Don't give up in well-doing. Don't get weary in prayer. Don't give up on prayer. Don't say, I'm quitting. I'm gonna just let it go. I give up. God has answers and breakthrough for you and being persistent. So I just encourage you, keep praying, hold the line, be steady in prayer, be faithful in prayer. And remember, grab your book, 10 Prayer Secrets. This will encourage you in your faith to stay persistent, to keep your eyes on God and to cultivate and develop a deeper, more personal, connected relationship with God for yourself. Grab your copy today. 